you what's up guys today's video is why mtash is wrong about star rail that it will fail okay if you're new here please like share subscribe leave a comment all right okay so why do i think mtash is wrong because mtash uh, is just always making up things just to make content and now let's get into the content whatever uh yeah because not every game should be catered to M-Tash. If M-Tash wants a skilled game, he should, he should play Tekken 7 against high-ranking players if he really wants to show his skills. But I doubt he has skills on that level or that game. I don't care. I don't care about uh, the shooter game he plays, whatever. Uh, yeah. Where was I? I'm getting sleepy. Huh. Oh yeah. Because uh, M Tash is not Hoy versus uh, target demographic or target niche or target pairs customers. We don't kind of start away. You see, Hoyverse wants to expand and they also want to take over the market with uh, turn-based games and compete with other turn-based RPGs because there's money in it yeah they, they just want to expand they, they want to get the turn-based players to play the turn-based game not if there are not just uh, action gacha Honkai Genshin players if the Honkai and Genshin players play Star Rail, then that's a bonus. So, yeah. So, that's basically it. So, they just want to expand their coverage. I um, mean, why not? So, why not also make other kinds of games? As a developer, just like AAA developers, AAA developers like Square Enix have fighting games, versus games, uh, P PvP games, they have turn-based RPGs, now they have action RPGs, and they have tactics, gameplay, etc, etc, opera, so they're just expanding the different genres, so nothing wrong with that, more expansion, so more revenue, okay, so <laughs> that's just what it basically means, so it's just like starting a business so you have a big business you make a smaller branch and you already make another branch that sells different kinds of products depends on the location depends on the kinds of customers so that's a totally day